short video guide will cover how to install the Schrodinger software release for use on a single Windows machine, in this case running Windows 7, and assumes you have administrator privileges. First, go to the folder containing the downloaded installation zip file. Right-click on the file and choose Extract All. Leave the destination as the default, ensure that Show Extracted File When Complete is selected, and then click Extract. Double-click the new folder, and note that here you have a README file, as well as the Windows Quick Install Guide, as well as the more comprehensive Install Guide, which contains other useful information such as remote job submission. Double-click Setup, and click Yes to any user account controls. Then click Next in the Installer. Here you can browse for a destination folder, but it's best to use the default, so click Next, and click Next again to use Install as the setup type. But note that in future, and once the software has been installed, you can repeat these steps to repair or uninstall the software. Here, we'll install all products, otherwise you can select only specific products of interest. Click Next, and then Start to start the installation. When the installation finishes, click Next to see the profile selection for the different suites. By default, we'll install all profiles, and then here, we'll associate these structure files with Maestro. Click Next to show the software activation step, which displays the information needed in order to generate a license key. Here, you can click the link to visit schrodinger.com slash licensing to request a license, and note that these details will also be saved to the desktop. Click Next, and then OK to complete the installation procedure and view the release notes. If you obtained Maestro under the Maestro campaign, the license key is already included with the software and installed automatically. Otherwise, once you have requested and received a license key sent to your registered email account, you can first save it to the desktop, then open the newly installed Schrodinger folder, which in this case is in the C drive called Schrodinger 2013 2. Then drag the license file from the desktop onto the lick install.vbs script, like so. This merges the new license into your existing license file if present, otherwise, it installs the license at the default location. To verify the license works, click Start, All Programs, Schrodinger 2013-2, Diagnostics, and simply verify that the correct licenses are reported in the License Test tab. If yes, you should be able to launch the desired Schrodinger Suite interface, such as Maestro, by Illuminate or the Material Science Suite.